President Buhari sent message to Nigerian youth. President Muhammad Buhari has told Nigerian youth that the country cannot be divided for any reason. He advised the younger generation to keep a broader view of the country as one entity and continuously de emphasize ethnic and religious backgrounds in nation building. A statement to Daily Post on Friday by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshino, said that the president stated this when he received the All Progressive Congress APC youth leaders from the six geopolitical zones in Abuja on Friday. He told the youth, with all certainty, someday you will have to take up the mantle of leadership in this country and you should be prepared for huge responsibilities. Whether we like it or not, we will someday hand over to Nigerian youth and you have to brace up the leadership for leadership. Some interest groups will come up with ethnic, religious issues, but you have to look at the broader picture. We had a civil war that consumed over 2 million Nigerians and we will learn our lessons. Hmm. Nigeria is one country and no one should take our firmness for granted, he said. Wow. Oh my God. What are we going to say that uh, we have not said before? A power buari, you know, they talk and they don't, they don't even care. They don't even know what people are going through. Of course, we know those who are talking about a Nigeria breakup, those who are talking about a agitation, those who are, you know, fighting to have their own independence, to have their own nation. We know the people and he knows them quite well. And that was why he made mention of that. But the question is that they are always talking about, okay, we want us to be together. We want to have a, a united a country. We want to do this. We want to do that. But in your own your own duties, have you been able to do that? If you are talking, because we continue to say it, because in as much himself, we continue to talk about one Nigeria that uh, is indivisible, uh, there is it's not going to divide for any reason. If it want to get it will uh, get divided, it will get divided. It's not a, a crime. Other countries are going their separate way. Uh, UK left a uh, uh, EU. The world did not crumble. They didn't invite anybody. They didn't arrest anybody for that. They didn't castigate people for that. People voted and there was a referendum. People voted for that. So they, they saw the reason why they needed to leave EU. They had their reasons and they came up with referendum and, and that's it. So this uh, idea of uh, that Nigeria must be together, must be together. They will use it to be threatening people as if it's a death sentence. That if you just say, let's every let's uh, people go their separate way. As if it's a death sentence. I don't I don't just understand. Okay. You that you are talking about, okay, Nigeria must be firm, Nigeria must be this and that. At the end of the day, what do you do? People are complaining about a appointment. It's lopsided. But some people will come and be defending them. They will they will be uh, uh, referring to maybe 2% out of their appointment. They will be referring to 2%. What about the rest things that people are seeing? Do you, does it mean people do not see things? People who are even complaining, who are criticizing. Do they do you think they will just come out and be saying what they don't know? Because those things are before us. They are they are they are they are they are, they are facing us, staring at us. All of those things they are doing. You that came up the first time, you were talking about uh, you are going to concentrate on people that gave you a uh, ninety five percent vote and people are, that gave you five percent. Why do they? Why should they expect anything from you? That was what he said. That was what he said. What that statement? What does that stated statement mean? Is it not division? Is it not hatred? Is it not sowing seed of discord into many hearts, hearts of many people? And you expect people to be laughing with you. It's not going to happen. Just like I said, a Pabuari would have been, you know, been able to shut people up, would have been able to disappoint people by doing, you know, what people were really accusing him of before 2015. But at the end of the day, you know, he just came to, to, to affirm those who were criticizing to affirm what they, their fears were when they were telling other people. And the people who really thought, oh, this is the Messiah. The people that voted for Buhari in 2015, I will never, I won't blame them. Because of course, everybody wanted that change. Because what we were going through that time wasn't the best. Wasn't the best. But now what we were going through that we thought was not the best is not the best no, to us compared to what is happening. So it would have shamed all of them. But what do we have? It's like it's not giving them the reason to be more happy, to be telling people, did I not tell you? Did we not tell you people? Did we not warn you? 
I was listening to somebody. Somebody was like, oh, fire, fire she said it to, fire she said that to. But because of the, where they were coming from, because of the angle he was coming from, people didn't want to listen to him that they were just trying to, okay, and because you people just wanted to retain power, so you just want to discredit other people. And what are we having today? All of those things that they said, you know, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are the things that we are witnessing, that we are witnessing in food those. In food, those, even the things that those people were criticizing, criticizing Buhari then, the things that we, they were saying, you know, what we are experiencing is even more than what they were saying then. So it would have been, have you know, you would have been able to shut all of those people for ball. It's not giving them strength to say or to tell people that we told you people. So when you are talking about, oh, uh, uh, Nigeria must be this, then what have you done as a father? As a father, what have you done to call those people on round table? What is there? What have you done? Even if you think that you cannot call them, they have leaders, they have political leaders. Why can't you call them? What do you want? A president that cannot even address people, that cannot say a, a, you know, sweet, a, a suitable ways to his, to his people, a, a, an encouraging ways to his people. What do you expect? That they will be, of course, we know that they are going to be saying what they do is different from what they are going to be saying. What they say is different from what they, they, they put up. That is where the problem lies. A father, we have that father, you know, we say sweet things, encouraging ways. But what this man says, you know, is just, it's totally out of it. You know, the style, the style is that he says something and he does something different. Again, now, they are beginning to, they are beginning to tell the youth that we are going to hand over to you. This man has been in power right from time immemorial. All their sets, all they have said, they have been in power over how many decades, right from time, we can't even remember. That is the same story. People have been talking, oh, the youth are the leader of tomorrow. The youth are the leader of tomorrow. Those youth now, they are getting older. And they are still telling them they are, the, they are by, by tomorrow. Which tomorrow? The same president that was telling the youth then, when they were trying to uh, put in law, have you, uh, to put inside the constitution, I don't know how to put it, that uh, not too young to run. He was telling them that they shouldn't even contest. They shouldn't contest in 2020, 2019, that they should just allow it themselves. You can imagine it's somebody that wants to hand over to the children. They will not even... Do you, they, at times, I, 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 I do wonder when people come out and say, oh, the youth are not even serious. You know, these youth are not matured. How can they be matured? When in a party, if you go to get a ticket, they will be... They will, they, you, they, they will, you have to buy it for 10 million, 20 million. Who does that? Where, who do you, where do you get that money? How do you get that money? Where do you get the money from? Or is this a, this a thuggery, thuggery uh, uh, policies they are doing every now and then? Is that what they expect the youth to, to embark on? Even all those uh, talks that they use to harass people, they pay them. So where will the youth get the money to, to get, to get uh, 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 all those people paid? Which is not even encouraging. Of course, they will say they, nobody will come and say you. So that is what they get involved in. But we know how all of these things play out. So if you are talking about one Nigeria, you must lay the foundation. You must, you know, lay down. I don't even know how to put it. You know, you have to lead by example. You have to lead by example. You cannot be saying something different and you are acting differently and you expect people to be normal. No, no, nah, people cannot be normal. If you know, if you don't do things. In a normal way. You don't expect people to behave in a normal way. They will behave abnormally. They will behave irrationally. And you will think that uh, they, are, they, are, they are not uh, reasonable. No. Because you are, going, you are the one who have already encouraged them. You have brought out the anger in them. It's very, very, very unfortunate. When we continue to hear this. And when we know that all of these things that they are talking about. They are not doable. They are just saying this just for saying, saying sake. And this statement was said when all progressive congress, APC youth leaders from the six geopolitical zones in Abuja on Friday. So at the end of the day, they will tell you, oh, some, some region doesn't know, you know, some region don't know how to play politics. Or maybe a particular region does not know how to play, play politics or some regions, you know, don't know how to play politics. So now they are telling us that all progressive congress, youth leaders from the six geopolitical zones. So, does it mean they are not involved? They will be, I would not be saying we have a lot of people from the southeast, from the southwest, from the, from all the six, six uh, geopolitical zones in the same APC. Then, how do you expect people to, how do you, do they now come with that narrative all the time that they need to go and they, 
you know how to play politics they need to be involved so they want to automatically turn this country to a one party system which is not going to happen which is not going to happen it is people that want to join if they want to join if they see that you are progressing really progressing that is when people will come you don't even need to tell them when they know that you know there's light in your party people will definitely come by default they everybody wants to come not that people who want to come because of what they want to get so that's just the way it is you know if you really want people to 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 have that feeling see there's nobody that will be enjoying in his house i want to say i want to scatter this house i want to scatter this house or i want to go my separate way i want to go my separate way nobody will want to do that if a place is not conducive you just want to leave and that is just the where it is naturally if a place is not conducive for you you just want to leave you just want to leave because you're not be comfortable so people who are talking about uh, they want to leave and they, you can't blame them the only thing that the president can do is to bring them together and it's not by rhetoric it's not by saying all of these things saying nigeria is one country and no one should take our firmness for granted who are the people Nobody should take our fairness, firmness for granted. To be firm in doing abnormalities or to be you are firm in doing the right thing. <laughs> Honestly, I don't just know. I've, I've already said my mind. I don't even know what to say for that. But I always like you guys, you know, let's hear your own take concerning what the president has said. That say, Nigeria uh, must remain one. That irrespective of anything, Nigeria cannot be divided for any reason. That was what the president said. Leave your comments below and let's hear your take. Bye.